YouTube viewers, listen as closely as you can. If you were reading the book of Jeremiah, you will see that the nation of, of Israel was given to the nation of Babylon for her sins and for not putting the Lord first and, and for not worshiping him and him alone. Listen to me. Philippians 4 says I can do all things through, through Christ who strengthens me. Matthew 6 says that we should pray that we won't go to temptation and it also says if we forgive those who have sinned against us we will be forgiven but if we don't forgive them we will not be forgiven Matthew 7 says ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you first John chapter 1 says if we say that we have not sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us but if we confess our sins the Lord is faithful and just to forgive us to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness Philippians 4 says I can do all things through Christ who who strengthened me John 8 says Satan who is also called the devil is a liar and the father of lies so listen to me you and I both you and I both need to regularly regularly read all of these passages and and Pray to be kept from sin as as much as possible so we won't make the Lord mad. Listen to me, USA. Listen to me, United United States. You 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 need to pray to turn from all your wickedness. You need to ask the Lord to forgive you and overturn every law that goes against what the what the Bible says is good. You need to overturn every law that has ever gone against what the Bible says is good. You need to regularly, regularly read Matthew 6 and 7 with 1 John 1 and Philippians 4 and John 8. And after, after, after reading all of those passages, you need to pray for help overturning every, overturning every law that the Bible says is wicked and or wrong I I truly do hope this video helps you but no need to thank me please like share and subscribe